It's pretty common to encounter error messages in Super Collider, and it can be really frustrating if you don't have strategies for dealing with them. So let's have a look at some of the most common types. And throughout this video, when you see an error, I encourage you to pause and figure it out yourself before moving on. It's good practice. So let's begin with some code that actually works just fine. But one of the most common problems is not the code itself, but the way it's evaluated. In Super Collider, there are two keystrokes for evaluating code. Shift Enter evaluates a single statement based on where the cursor is. And the other keystroke, which is Command Enter on Mac OS and Control Enter on Windows and Linux, will evaluate a multi-line chunk enclosed in parentheses, like this here. So Command Enter works just fine. The whole chunk flashes orange. It's all good. But if I use Shift Enter, then only a single line flashes, and Super Collider will return all sorts of weird and confusing things depending on where the cursor happens to be. So when you see an error, the first thing to do is make sure you used the correct keystroke. OK, moving on. This code doesn't work. It says class not defined. When I see any error message, the first thing I like to do is clear the post window and run it again. And this guarantees there's no extra junk in the post window. This error is pretty easy to deal with. Classes are these things here. They always start with a capital letter. And this message usually means we misspelled a class name. Uh, this line number here, line six, is relative to the chunk you just ran. So to sync up the line numbers, highlight that code and notice the line numbers change. So on line six, the class is brown noise and it's missing a lowercase n. Okay, here's another example producing a quite large error message. Step one, don't freak out. Uh, it looks kind of scary, but you know what? Don't even look at it. Just stay calm. Read the summary at the bottom, which says message exprenage, not understood. Receiver assign OSC. In Super Collider, code expression often takes the form something dot something, for example, three dot cubed. And the thing on the left is the receiver. The thing on the right is the message or method. This error tells us an instance of SignOSC is receiving an undefined method, which probably means, like the previous case, we just misspelled something. And sure enough, we did. This is supposed to be exp range. Change it, problem solved. Okay, here's another that says variable amp not defined. Um, lines seven and eight is where SuperCollider got confused. The rule is local variables must be declared before they can be used. Unless it's a single lowercase character like X, which is a special case, you can't just pull a name out of thin air and get away with it. It's just not allowed. The usual solution here is to declare the variable using a var statement at the top of the relevant section of code. In this example, uh, we're using a thing called amp, but we forgot to declare it. So include it in the declaration and we're good to go. All right, here's another example that pops up a lot. This one's a little bit trickier. Binary operator multiply failed, receiver nil. Nil is a value that represents uninitialized data. If you declare a variable but don't set it equal to something, then it equals nil. This error tells us SuperCollider is trying to do nil times something, and that's an undefined operation. There's no line number, so tracking down the issue involves a little bit of backtracking and proofreading, but you should be able to see that the problem is here. Sig is a sine wave times amp, uh, but amp isn't given a proper value until the next line. So we need to swap these two statements. Keep in mind this error might look a little bit different, like a different binary operator, or maybe you're trying to access an item in an array that doesn't exist yet. The main clue is receiver nil, and that tells you something somewhere hasn't been initialized. All right, last one, very common, sometimes kind of tricky, syntax error, unexpected, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this means there's a syntactical issue somewhere. In other words, you violated SuperCollider's basic rules of grammar, like a comma instead of a period, a left bracket that doesn't have a matching right bracket, etc. In addition to the line number, these carrots point to the spot where SuperCollider got lost. And most of the time, these carrots don't point to the actual problem. Instead, they point to something a handful of characters after the problem. So line six, here's the spot. And if we make our way backwards a bit, sure enough, we forgot a semicolon at the end of the previous line. The semicolon is the expression terminator. And without it, SuperCollider has no idea where one line ends and the next begins. The human equivalent is writing code with no return characters, which uh, technically is valid code, but it's completely unreadable. Uh, so these are some of the most common errors, why they show up, and techniques for how to fix them. That's going to be it for this tutorial. I want to give a shout out and very special thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Much love. Uh, really appreciate your generosity. And to everyone, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.